Hi and welcome, this is Lisa from In the Crafting Cave and today I'm going to be sharing with you a shaker card I created using the Crazy Stitched Frame Dies, the Tiny Sentiment Stamp Set, and the Greeting Word Dies from Crafting Desert Diva's June release. Here you'll see the Crazy Stitch Dies, they're great for shaker cards. And here's the greeting word dies with thanks, totally awesome, and blessed. The script is gorgeous. And now we have the tiny sentiment stamp set. I love this set because of the hashtag, awesome, awesome sauce, just a lot of great sentiments. And it pairs perfectly with the greeting word dies. So to get started, I'm just going to ink up a crazy stitch die frame with some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Peacock Feathers. And I'm also going to Distress Ink up the flowers and the leaves. And the flowers I'm using Distress Ink and Abandoned Coral. And the leaves I'm going to be using Shabby Shutters. And I just laid some ink down on my mat because I want to get the flowers wet so that they'll soak up some ink. And then I like to go back and sponge the ink on there also. So I've die cut four of the awesome die cuts and I'm using the quickie glue pen to adhere these together. You see this glue pen is amazing because it's just so easy to write over your die cut words and then just stick them together. And I like to use four layers because it adds some thickness to the uh, die cut. So now we're ready to assemble our card mm -hmm. and we have our crazy stitch die cut frame and we also have our acetate panel and we're going to use some sook wing tape to assemble these two pieces together and you want to use a heavy duty tape because you need a good bond between the frame and the acetate. You don't want to lose your sequins. So now we're just going to go ahead and use some 3D mounting tape and go all the way around the frame and I do a double layer on it. Our frame is assembled now and we're going to take our embossing powder tool and go around the inside edges to get rid of any stickiness there might be so that our sequins don't stick to the adhesive. And here you'll see I'm using the orange stars and the emerald isle sequins from the Crafting Desert Diva store. I even include a few of those die cut um, inked flowers. A few more sequins because, well, hey, we can never have enough of those, right? And the orange stars are new in the store this month. Now comes the fun part. Removing this tape off of here because I always end up getting sequins all over the sticky. So here we're just going to go ahead and take a panel cut from the crazy stitched frame dies and put it on the back of our shaker. Make sure that you have a very good bond between the paper and the adhesive because if you don't those sequins will go flying. So I'm just adding some sequin tape so that I can adhere this to my card base and I'm using 110 pound card stock for my card base. Here I've used some Memento Rich Cocoa ink to stamp my sentiment and that is from the Tiny Sentiment Stamp Set. And here we're using the Quickie Glue Pen to go ahead and adhere our centers and our leaves to our flowers. So now we're just going to arrange all of our elements on the front of our card, making sure we have everything exactly where we want it. I've added three square 3D foams on the back of the sentiments to pop that up. And we're going to lay that down now and we're going to be done. I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for joining me today.